To be stylish, you have to get rid of the immature clothing and ditch these clothes. The first one is wearing Jordans everywhere. This is probably my biggest pet peeve of all. It's when guys just rack up on the Jordans, not knowing when to throw them away or not knowing when to not wear them. A lot of guys are wearing these Jordans and Nike shoes seven days a week, even on a nice day, a nice event. How They're dare just still wearing you? The, the Jordan shoes, the Nike shoes, the athletic shoes. We have to know the time and place when to wear these. To have so many other options of loafers, nice minimal sneakers, boots, so many nice shoes that you can be wearing and the athletic shoes have a time and a place. And for those nicer upper casual events, this is where you have to learn to separate them and start wearing a nicer shoe. I recommend you check out Amber Jack. I've been a big fan of Amber Jack. I've also just recently picked up their Tundra Suede Loafer. This is one of the best loafers on the market. Very luxurious type of loafer. The suede is very great. It's a great springtime loafer, a great springtime shoe. You can wear Amber Jack for a lot of different occasions, especially these great loafers. Amber Jack also has a great selection with their boots, dress shoes, and also their loafers as well. So make sure you check out Amber Jack with these Tundra Suede Loafers. I've been my go-to loafers for all spring so far, and they'll definitely carry me into the summer as well. Make sure you check out Amber Jack. I'll leave the link for them in my description. The next thing you guys are wearing that make you look immature are wearing athletic clothes everywhere. So this kind of piggybacks off of the wearing the, you know, the Jordans and the Nikes everywhere. You guys are still, you know, have that on that you guys have on the athletic wear. This is not the best decision to make, especially like I said before, an upper casual situation. You can only get away with this so long with just wearing the athletic wear to these Nicer events is just not going to fly. You have to know when to turn it on and turn it off. These are when you start wanting to go for your more upper casual type of clothes, those blazers, nicer shoes, nicer pants, nicer shirts as well. So the athletic clothes have a time and a place. Usually I would say, guys, I'll honestly use those more for lounging around or maybe doing a workout, something like that. It's great to practice at home. If you're trying to wear the more casual clothes when you can, a day where you're not doing anything, just chilling around the house. It's a good idea to just try to throw on some regular clothes so you can mix and match things effectively. What this also does is it prepares you and gets you a lot more confident when you actually do have to go somewhere, you're gonna be a lot better at putting clothes together. Moving on is wearing the baseball hats nonstop, especially wearing the baseball hats like to the side, like, you know, like semi side and God forbid the backwards hats as well. <laughs> doesn't look good at all if you're gonna wear baseball hats i recommend you wearing them forward but then i would also let you know there's a time and place for that as well so the more you wear them the more immature you start to look show off how well you're taking care of your hair your grooming nice haircuts that you're getting this is where all this comes into play the baseball hats all day every day that starts to just not look good you start to look like a little kid like a little boy so make sure you guys are you know wear these in moderation and trying to Make sure that you're showing off that nice haircut, just the overall great grooming routine that you're developing. The next one is graphic t-shirts. This is one of my biggest pet peeves ever. I've batched this one pretty hard on this channel. I'm gonna keep continuing to do so. It just doesn't look good when you have the big like cartoon characters on your shirts or the big sayings or whatever. Plus the like goofy sayings that could potentially harm someone anyway just aren't a good idea. You never know who's around and what someone's beliefs are. It's better to just keep your shirts minimal. Nine times out of ten this is pretty much the best way to go. What this does is it just allows for the most versatility. There's a lot of benefits to the minimal shirts. So I recommend you just start to ditch the graphic shirts. It just comes off as more immature. You also run that risk of also harming someone with the inappropriate messages on the shirt as well. The next one is digital watches. So this one's I'm just not really a fan of either. Gonna do digital watches. I think they're good for like a working out type of thing, some type of activity. But for more of like the casual, upper casual, more finer events, the digital watches just aren't a good idea. A lot of you wearing suits with like Apple watches. Oh, One of the wow. biggest mistakes you can ever make just really kills your overall outfit. If you guys are gonna go for a watch, it's nice to have more of a metal type of timepiece or something like that. More stainless steel that's gonna just help elevate your outfit instead of make it more of like an immature type of look. So if you guys are going for the digital watches, you know, doing some more lounging around type of activities is good, but know how to differentiate them and know when it's time to disperse them and get rid of them when you start to go in those more upper casual type of scenarios and events. Moving on to the next one is jerseys. I'm just not a big fan of wearing something that says someone else's last name on me. That's just my opinion. I just don't think it's a good idea. I'm also not a fan of just wearing like the teams on me, stuff like that as well. I think it's appropriate for more of like going to a game situation or something like that. That's pretty much the only type of scenario I think a jersey is appropriate. I don't think it's appropriate for a date, any type of event, any type of casual thing, anything like that. 
I just don't think it really makes sense to wear them. Like I say, games are cool, but I don't really like to see physical evidence of someone that's a fan. I just think, you know, you can be a fan internally. You don't have to be a fan externally. I think that starts to just become a little more on the extreme side, in my opinion. So if you're a big fan, that's that's nice. I would just say just try to not make your team spirit shine a little too much. You don't want to take it over the top and just cause yourself to look a little immature and embarrassing. The next one is jeans with slides. This is another one just makes you look immature, like you don't know how to dress. There's a lot of other things that you guys could wear that are just as comfortable as jeans with slides. Like I said before, I've named you guys other shoes that are comfortable. You guys can wear some nice, comfortable loafers, nice, comfortable sneakers. Like I said before, I'm a big fan of the Reebok Classics, Nike Air Force Ones. New Balances have great, comfortable shoes as well. As I mentioned before, Amber Jack is another one that has great, comfortable shoes. So a lot of different options you have for nice, comfortable shoes, but the jeans with slides, just they just don't do it. They just don't look good. So I'm sorry if you're big fans of these, but I highly recommend you completely delete this look from your wardrobe and your overall outfit. It's good to, like I said, lounge around the house, going somewhere quick outside, getting the mail, getting the garbage can, something like that. It's okay in that scenario, but this is pretty much it, I would say, in my honest opinion. The next one is wristbands. So pretty much with this one, like I said, with the digital watches, if you're gonna wear something on your wrist, it just makes more sense to wear something that just requires a little more effort, looks a little more put together. So a nice bracelet is a much better option, like a rubber wristband just kind of looks a little more like fifth grader type of kid look. Doesn't really make much sense, especially when you stack all these rubber bracelets on you with like the goofy sayings as well, similar to the graphic t-shirts. Just doesn't put together a great outfit and really starts to decline your outfit on the style meter that we like to call it on this channel. So I'm gonna go with something on your wrist. Like I said before, watches, bracelets are usually your best friend. So I will keep it at those two. Anything other than that, you start to go into immature territory very easily, so. That's it for me today, guys. Hope you guys got something out of the video. In the meantime, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for checking us out. Peace.